Tusculum Pioneers celebrated their home opener this past Saturday against the Shawan Hawks. Hello everyone, I'm Brian State and joined by Pioneer coach Jerry Odom as the Pioneers battled their second consecutive CIAA team with a win against St. Augustine's the week before. Shawan was in the same boat playing their second consecutive South Atlantic Conference team and for the second consecutive week for them they would force a team out of the conference into overtime. They'd win it in two overtimes, 46 38. As mentioned, joined by Pioneer coach Jerry Odom. I, I know it was frustrating and it was it was kind of heartbreaking to kind of watch that team start out so good, kind of have that lull, and then right there at the very end have an opportunity. I think what we learned about it is that Bryce Wood is a second team all conference quarterback out of the CIAA. It was just difficult to bring down, and he was pretty accurate when he was on the run. Did a great job. Really good football player. Uh, much respect for uh, him and uh, their coaching staff. They did a great job of uh, with their scheme. We were not disciplined enough on defense to, to play against them, and we did have trouble getting him down. We had, I felt like we beat him up front on a lot of different things, and we just didn't uh, do a good job uh, not letting him extend the play. That's what we talked about all week. He, he reminds you of kind of a, a Ben Roethlisberger type guy, big dude, yeah. runs well enough, but he extends the play and he's accurate on the run. And they've got two good receivers, and they did a nice job. And you know, kudos to them. We didn't we didn't play well enough on defense to give ourselves a chance. Uh, and and, and and at times we played very well, yeah. but it, we gave up too many explosion plays o over silly things, uh, you know, double passes. And, and uh, the first long one was something we'd worked on a good bit, and we just busted. And we got a couple guys hurt in the back end, uh, one, one last week, and then the first play of the game, probably the guy that, that uh, kind of runs the show back there gets hurt. So we got two freshmen back there, and, and, and it showed we struggled some. Yeah, you can't lose your quarterback losing Raynell Killian early in that contest. Good news is he'll be back for the limestone contest that'll be coming up. Offensively, a week ago, they were able to run the football at will. The offensive line was good, but again, you're going up against Abdul Wahid, uh, some guys up on that front line that some of the guys on the offense, I even talking with Thomas Mahoney earlier this week about just what they were shown didn't expect to see some of those things and obviously they're big guys and they were really physical up yeah right. and we got to be more physical I mean that's the bottom line um, you know we, we've got to play more physical up front we got to take that challenge and uh, and I think our guys will um, you know they got to take that challenge and, and come out and and reestablish who we want to be uh, you can't be one-dimensional and they yeah. made us one-dimensional and uh, when you're when you're one-dimensional it's hard to uh, hard to beat a team we still scored 30 points on offense and that should be enough to win, and uh, but we didn't get it done. And all, like I said, all the kudos go to them. They did a great job, uh, you know. And you know, got to find a way to, to maybe see them again this year. And the yeah. only way to do that is to make the playoffs. So we got to find a way to, to to get on a run. And we start our conference this week. And uh, I still think we have a talented team. We just gotta we gotta finish. We'll see some of the highlights of the contest that uh, was played this past Saturday against Shawan. We're going to pick up the action right here on the very first drive. Coach, you guys got out to a really good start. And Ivan, uh, one, two, let's go. Yeah, um, they were rushed four-man front. They were matching, playing man and rip Liz. And, you know, then they come with a blitz right here and, and a good throw and catch. Really a good catch. Uh, throw could have been a little farther outside, but pretty good throw and catch right there uh, on that. And then we get out and uh, – Ivan makes some guys miss. I mean, obvious, obviously, Ivan's a very talented runner. We want him to, to do both, but be able to process some of these blitzes. They blitzed a lot um, against us. Got him off sides right here, so we kind of had a free play. Uh, we were able to get seven or eight yards you know, on the free play. And uh, and then, you know, right here, a really good throw on the backside. I thought we got a, kind of a bad spot right there. Had to go for it on fourth down. I mean, yeah. he caught it at the 40, and they put it at the 39. Ended up getting the first. Uh, come back, throw a nice cross around to Derek Wright right here. Probably could have hit more of these, but it's really the one we hit uh, that we wanted. And then uh, get a little quarterback sweep over here and, and kind of walk in. And, and again, really good, really good drives right there. Pioneer score on their opening drive. You see, didn't see the 35-yard touchdown toss so for that Corbin. 20 of 35, 239 yards and a couple of touchdowns. And he also had a rush. Uh, and I apologize to Trey, Trey Treywick. With a pick six, TU yeah. turnover university for Coach yeah. Jerry Odom. And, and again, your defense was, uh, you said it, we were really good at times, so we just can't give up the explosion. Yeah, I mean, you give up five plays for 250 yards, that, that, or, you know, or se seven plays for 250 yards, yeah. like, you know, and then you give up 70, you know, for 150. Yeah, so you, you, you can be great, but it doesn't really matter. Again, you get a scramble right here, great run by Ivan, 
you know, on, you know, on the scramble, and, and that's part of his game. Uh, we just got to work some of the other parts. Uh, great job of fourth down here. Big hit by Craig Watts right there to keep them out, uh, you know, out from getting the first down uh, after, a, you know, a, a stop. And like I said, I, I felt like they didn't run the ball in the middle a whole lot on us. They tried to work the edges, which was probably smart on their part. We just did silly stuff, you know, in the back end. Let uh, You know, like we had three guys that were quarantined, and you never see that. I mean – when I say quarantine, that means no one was around them uh, in any way, shape, or form. Nice RPO right here. Uh, good throw and catch right there to uh, Parham. Uh, I believe this is Tyler Zero right here uh, with a nice catch slant uh, on the backside into a blitz. We got to do a better job throwing into you know throwing into those things and throwing hot right here. We yeah. throw hot to Derek Wright, get a first first down, keep this drive going. I believe this is at the end. It kind of ties this thing, you know, gets it back after they got, you know, got on a roll. Again, a little scramble play. Tyler Zero comes open. Uh, and then we're able to, you know, we put Bryce in the game uh, with a big package to get a fourth down, uh, to get a first down. And, uh, you know, kind of our Tebow package. Got some things out of that for Bryce. Uh, just so, you know, obviously Ivan's a great runner, but we don't want him taking every single shot. So, uh, Bryce is playing some tight end and doing some of those things. And we end up tying this thing up. And, uh, you know, right here had a chance. I uh, get a tip ball by McIntyre on this next play. I don't know if it's on there. Had a chance to score. I guess this is going into overtime here. And, and a really nice throw and catch. Derek Wright elevates up over the top for the touchdown. And then, but then we give up the next play on a play we worked on all week and we screwed it up. And, uh, and they get a touchdown. Oh, right there could have been a turnover. That would have been a, a huge play in the game. Uh, he scrambles after we drop eight right here for about a five-yard gain. They end up scoring, going for two, uh, get the two, and uh, get it. We have backed up, way backed up penalties, and then at the end of the day, we, we miss one kind of wide open on a crossing route. So, uh, you know, disappointing. Um, I'm disappointed. I got to do a better job coaching. Um, we got to do a better job playing. And uh, but but you know I still think we got a good football team and I and I think Chawan's got a pretty good football team I really do uh, you know I, I their their front was was very good on the defensive side of the ball um, I think schematically uh, they do a great job on the offense uh, highlighting their attributes which are their receivers and the quarterback and and then they did some nice things on on option throws and we weren't disciplined of double passes things like that they hit us with everything. Um, and uh, three of those plays were, uh, were, you know, were touchdowns. And it, it's tough, you know. Uh, I thought a couple times that were close to being down the field with their linemen, but they didn't get called, so it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but uh, at the end of the day, they deserved a win. We didn't, and we've got to just come back this week and go back to work and uh, get get things going. Tried to be Ivan Corbin, just kind of follow up. You know, he had a good day running the football. Mm -hmm. He had a good day passing the football. Yep. You know, didn't have those turnovers. Right. Uh, we kind of say, hey, we got to avoid those. It's just that he was scrambling. And I think what you want to see out of him now, the maturation process for him, not having football for a couple of years, is just to be able to read that, that hot route. Just yeah, like we, had, we felt like we had a lot of routes really open. And he, I think, sometimes looks to use his athleticism maybe a little quicker than we'd like, you know, because he can throw it really well too. Yeah. Just he's got to process that and, and get it out. But he did a great job. I mean, yeah. it, you know, he, he played well enough for us to win. No, no issues with Ivan. He'll get better and better and better as the, as the season goes along. We just got to play better on defense. I mean, that's the bottom line. It's a uh, Pioneer football team takes on at Shawan Falls in double overtime, 46 to 38. On to conference play against the Limestone Saints. We're going to talk about that when the Pioneer football show continues after this. We are in Granger County, Tennessee, here at Pierce Farms, and uh, the Pierce family has been working with Ingalls for over 30 years. It means a great deal supplying uh, produce as a local farmer. Uh, it really touches base knowing that we're just simple people just trying to help, and we love what we do, and Ingalls is a huge part of helping us do it. Farming is who we are, and it's in our blood. God has really blessed us with the sun and the soil to grow the best tomatoes you'll find anywhere. <laughs> I believe it's really in the soil. So if you're in Granger County and you farm tomatoes, then you're you're in. <laughs> Just a great blessing on us to actually farm and be able to farm and to supply tomatoes to people. And Ingalls really cares about family farms like Pierce Farms, and they really care about their customers. We're just glad to be a part of that. 
God has blessed us with a really great partnership there. They make fresh local produce have real meaning for lots of people. I'm Shane Pierce and this is my Ingle Story. Welcome you back into the Pioneer Football Show with Pioneer Coach Jerry Odom. The Pioneers, 1-1 one one on the season, open up the South Atlanta Conference schedule this coming Saturday against the Limestone Saints, a team they had the opportunity to actually play in the spring. Their only home game of the spring were actually victorious. That game will kick off at 3. We'll talk more about that. But a kid that played in the spring, a, a freshman quarterback, Brian Noller, and I thought that yeah. you know, even then we thought – you know, he, he reads it well, he gets yep. rid of the football on time, and he throws the, ball, the football very well. He had that spring chance, and I think a lot of coaches need to take advantage yep. of that to get some kids some live bullets, if you will, yep. and he had that opportunity. Yeah, I think he's a good football player. I mean, uh, you know, Coach Turk always does a good, really, really good job on the offensive side of the football. They are very well coached. They give you a lot of different looks, motions, shifts, different concepts, compressed, wide. You know, you're going to have to be ready for everything, so we'll have to play much better on defense. But uh, I, I believe the, the quarterback's a, a really good football player. He's sound. He's got a good arm. He un seems to understand uh, what they're trying to get accomplished. It'll be a challenge for us as a secondary, myself, to, to try to keep him a little bit off balance if we can. And, uh, and we got to play better up front and get people on the ground. Um, but, you know, obviously he's a great player, and then you throw Patton in, in, involved. And I saw he didn't play last week, so I don't know if there's an injury situation. It could be whatever. You never know nowadays. It could be a COVID situation. It could be an injury. But I always am worried. I feel like I've been talking about this guy for six years. You have been. <laughs> you know, I mean, will you just graduate already, please? <laughs> good play. Uh, he's a really good player. That's, that's the reason he scares me to death. And Coach Odom has been talking about him for that duration as well. That overtime game there in Gaffney right. uh, kind of really initiated him into South Atlantic Conference. Meanwhile, Ivan Corbett, you know, I, I, the elephant in the room, yeah. you know, that's where he started his career, right. Limestone. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure there'll be a little bit. Do you, is, is he the type of guy you have to kind of say, hey, yeah. we, we got to calm him down? <laughs> yeah, I think he is. Like, he'll, he'll try to be overly competitive, and, and, and we're going to have to tell him, hey, listen, man, don't, don't try to do too much. Just be you team game, all that kind of stuff. He's a definitely a competitive guy. He'll want to play well. But at the end of the day, it's 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 about doing your 111th. We talk about that all the time. And if he'll just do his part of the job, the rest of, you know, we, we got a chance to win. Um, if, if, you know, if he tries to do too much, that could be a bad thing too. So he, did, he just needs to go in, game plan that Coach Dickey and them come up with, run the game plan, he'll be fine. You know, we had a couple of guys missing. Um, and obviously, last week we saw Killian go out, need that quarterback back in there. You get some healthy guys back this week. Well, hopefully, you know, I mean, right now, um, possibly Witherspoon, you know, that would really be a, a bonus to us defensively. Uh, if we can get at least one of those back, if we can get them both back, that's huge because those two are the quarterbacks of my defense, and and uh, they they really understand what we're doing. Not that you know, I thought Trace Ray would gave you know made some really good plays, but he just hadn't had enough uh, seasoning, so so to speak. Uh, but he's getting better every day. I thought Kamari Lovett played yeah. really hard. He's going to be a really good player, but he's a true freshman, you know. And I think we've got to make sure that we do – if we do get Raynell and Witherspoon back, that'll help. But if we don't, then I've got to do a great job of coaching those guys up this week. All right. It is the start of the South Atlantic Conference play in the spring. You won that championship. And I know mm -hmm. that there'll be that bullseye outside of just being Tuskegee University. Sure. Um, you know, how do these guys – do these guys prepare any differently this week? Have you well, I, I've just told them, and really from the get-go, you know, you earned some respect last year, so you, you're going to get everybody's best shot now regardless. I, I, I think that was Chawan's best shot. You don't see yeah. – four double passes in a game if they're not throwing everything at you, everything in the kitchen sink at you. Um, but, uh, you know, I think at the end of the day, we got to worry about ourselves. I, I say that all the time. I mean, we respect uh, what Limestone is, who they are. We respect every team in this conference. Because let me tell you something, top to bottom in Division Two, this is one of the better conferences in the, in the country because I think there's other conferences that have really good teams, but they're top heavy. You know, like there's two or three teams that are really top heavy. But here you look at it, and there's just not a lot of teams that you say, hey, I don't have to have my A game to win. You better bring your A game every single week and, and uh, to win any against any team in this conference or you're going to struggle. And so I think preparation, you know, we, we take Mondays off. 
off. So Tuesday through Thursday for us, preparation is, is, is a big deal. Sunday, we've already started a little bit, but it's mostly making corrections and walkthroughs and, and, and things like that and then getting, getting them healthy and stuff like that and letting the young guys get some, get some work. But uh, Tuesday through Thursday, man, that's when you win a lot of football games. And I thought we had a good week of prep last week. It's just tougher when you play a team that you don't know much about. We had one game on those guys, you know, and – they showed us some things we hadn't seen, and when you got young guys, that, that's sometimes what happens, and they got us. And uh, it's not an excuse because our rules should have taken care of all those things, but we've got to play better in the back end, better at linebacker, you know, better on defense as a whole, and then offensively we've got to establish some kind of running game you know, so we can have some kind of balance. And I think you're going to see more of a 3-4 a look this year from, uh, from Limestone starting a little bit more they're angling they're blitzing so we got to be we got to be ready for that and uh and and we just got to go to work i mean that's what it really what it comes down to pioneers battle limestone who didn't get the opportunity to play last week because saint augustine's couldn't play mm. so two weeks ago they took on north greenville and fell that's been their only game of the season we'll open up the south atlanta conference this coming saturday from pioneer field against the limestone saints join us on the Pioneer Sports Network beginning at 2 o'clock with our Pioneer kickoff show. Watch the game, kickoff, through TuscalumPioneers.com. Listen through Jewel955.com or 95.5 FM. For everyone involved with the Pioneer football show, thanks to Doug Page. He's Pioneer coach Jerry Odom. I'm yeah. Ryan Staten. Until next week, go Pioneers.